Hey there and welcome back to Footy Today where we bring you all the latest news from the past 24 hours in a small bite-sized format. We've got loads of stories to cover including Manchester United looking for a striker bargain and having multiple bids rejected, Leicester and Arsenal trying to hijack deals from West Ham and Chelsea, a Liverpool star may have a mammoth offer on the table, Chelsea to give a recent signing the boot, a high profile player at Newcastle wanting to leave and Everton's new signing. Let's get into it. Manchester United may pursue Ivan Tony if his price drops below £40 million as Eric Ten Hag sees an opportunity with the striker unwilling to sign a new contract. United recently signed young strikers Rasmus Hoyland and Joshua Xerxes hoping they will develop into top assets. However, Tony's experience and skill set could complement the duo providing valuable competition. With Tony's contract expiring next year, this summer is likely Brentford's last chance to sell him and United could meet his £250,000 per week wage demands. Rhys Nelson is reportedly set to join Leicester City despite initially agreeing a move to West Ham. Arsenal's recent rise has left some players like Nelson and Emile Smith-Rowe behind with Nelson seeking a transfer due to limited playing time. Leicester have entered the race with a loan deal including an obligation to buy leveraging Nelson's prior relationship with manager Steve Cooper. This move would boost Leicester's squad adding Premier League experience alongside players like James Justin and Harry Winks. Arsenal are reportedly attempting to outbid Chelsea for sporting CP striker Victor Jokerez. Jokerez, who excelled at clubs like Coventry City and now Sporting, scored 43 goals and provided 15 assists in 50 appearances last season. Arsenal are preparing an initial bid of 55 to 60 million pounds, though Sporting seeks at least 80 million pounds. Interest in Jokerez has also come from Atletico Madrid and Liverpool, but Arsenal's pursuit might lead Eddie Nketiah's departure with ongoing talks between Arsenal and Marseille. Liverpool are confident Trent Alexander-Arnold will stay for at least another season after holding talks over a new contract, but Real Madrid remains a serious contender for his future. Trent, who is a key player with 79 assists and 19 goals from 310 appearances, has just a year left on his current deal. Real Madrid, who are long-time admirers, could tempt Liverpool with an offer this summer, but the Reds are determined to keep their vice-captain and are preparing a £300,000 a week deal to extend his stay until 2028. Despite this, Real Madrid still plans to pursue him as a free agent in 2025. Enzo Maresca is reportedly willing to offload recent Chelsea signing Petrovic with Fabrizio Romano confirming a bid for his replacement. Despite Petrovic's record-breaking £14 million transfer from New England Revolution and 23 Premier League appearances, he and Robert Sanchez may be deemed insufficient. Chelsea has made a £17 million bid for Villarreal goalkeeper Philip Jorgensen, who is keen on the move. Jorgensen, one of three goalkeeper options Chelsea is pursuing, could be signed quickly if Villarreal agrees to sell. Tottenham manager Ange Postacoglu is planning a bold triple transfer move after being granted a significant budget. Spurs are targeting left-back Patrick Dorgu for £25 million, Juventus attacker Federico Chiesa also for £25 million, and Chelsea midfielder Conor Gallagher facing competition from Atletico Madrid. Additionally, Tottenham may pursue Bournemouth's Dominic Solanke as a new centre-forward. However, former Spurs player Alan Hutton has advised against signing ex-Man United forward Memphis Depay, now a free agent, having concerns about his consistency and suitability for the Premier League. Newcastle United right-back Kieran Trippier is reportedly set to leave St James's Park this summer amid interest from the Saudi Pro League. Trippier, who is in the final year of his contract, may depart if the right offer comes in, with Newcastle more than willing to sell now due to his inconsistent form and Tino Liveramento's development. Two Saudi clubs are interested and formal talks are expected soon. Trippier's exit would free up his £120,000 per week wage and provide a transfer fee. Everton are set to sign Jasper Lindstrom from Napoli on a season-long loan with the winger travelling to Merseyside for a medical. The deal includes an £18 million buy option and a £2.5 million loan fee. Lindstrom, who struggled with Napoli last season, had a strong spell at Eintracht Frankfurt with 14 goals and 14 assists in 18 appearances. Sean Dyche is also pursuing additional signings, including Wilfred Nonto from Leeds, Calvin Phillips from Manchester City and Chelsea's Leslie Yuguchukwu. Everton are also interested in Galatasaray's Davinson Sanchez. Manchester United are still pursuing Manuel Ugarte from PSG after several bids were rejected. PSG have set their asking price at £58 million, higher than United's previous offers. Reports suggest PSG might consider a swap deal involving Bruno Fernandes, but United are reluctant to include their captain. Fernandes has expressed his commitment to United, emphasising his desire to stay and succeed at Old Trafford. 
Despite speculation, United are firm in their stance that Fernandes is not for sale unless a substantial offer comes in. Atletico Madrid are keen on signing Chelsea midfielder Conor Gallagher who is entering the final year of his contract. Chelsea have set a £34 million asking price for Gallagher, but Atletico's initial bid of £16.8 million was rejected. They are expected to make a new offer but are unwilling to match Chelsea's full valuation and apparently will table a take it or leave it offer. Gallagher, who made 50 appearances for Chelsea last season, is also a target for Tottenham and Real Sociedad. Atletico are considered the front runners, though they are looking for a deal below Chelsea's asking price. So there you have it. What are your thoughts on these stories? Drop your comments below as we would love to know what you think. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification icon to stay updated with all the footy news. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.